its energy surrounds us. What's up, Star Wars nerds, and welcome back to the Carbonite Combos podcast. We really appreciate you guys tuning in today. It's a really special day for the community. Today, we are recording for Star Wars Podcast Day 2024. This is the fourth annual podcast day, uh, Star Wars Podcast Day, and we're super excited because this day, it's actually the 25th anniversary of the first ever Star Wars podcast, Jedi Talk. Their premiere episode came out in on February 7th, 1999, and today is kind of that unofficial celebration of another year of Star Wars podcasting. So who knows if we'd even be a thing if Jedi Talk hadn't walked. Or I was going to say walk so we could run, but who, <laughs> who am I to say that? Like, they're probably much better. But, you know, we're, we're super grateful for, for what they started uh, because we're able to share our thoughts and our passion for Star Wars with with our little corner of the fandom. So, you know, big shout out. Today's a really, gonna be a really fun episode and one we we do every year. Uh, so I'm excited. Yeah, baby, 25 years. That's like a monumentous one, quarter yeah. century. That's, you know, happy birthday, Star Wars podcast. Yeah. Um, that's big. Four years for us, that's a big one too. I yeah, mean, we're coming up on crap, five years. Dude, like that, that I mean, that that's fast. Yeah, right? we're, like we're coming up on five years of us being a thing, which is crazy to think about. Oh, we know no, we're coming up on four. My bad. Okay, coming My up bad. four yeah. years, four years coming up here, and the fact like where this started from, and you know during the pandemic and where we are today, even as a society, and where we are, you know, you and I doing this thing, it's fun to see. It's big for us, I think. So I am, uh, yeah. I'm happy to chat, man. It's been a minute for us too. Yeah, so I am here, ready to bro down. Ready yeah, to no. It's been, it up, baby. it's been a been a long time uh, and we say it every time it's just life gets in the way and uh, unfortunately sometimes this does need to take a back seat but anytime I feel very blessed anytime we can we can get together and do this and Alec had a great idea when we were discussing the show what to do for podcast day you know we didn't want to talk about um, you know news or, or anything crazy we wanted to just we wanted to go a little more metaphysical with it and for us I think Ale well Alec had the idea of just talking about the state of Star Wars I feel like every year you can talk about that and it can be different every single time uh, so I'm I'm really excited about that 100% dude and then what I kind of want this to be and, and you know we were talking briefly before this is like that's such a vague term right yeah. like the state of Star Wars but for you to truly sit down and think about what is the state of Star Wars, bro, we are at a, a point of this that flashback even 10 years ago, can you imagine thinking in this concept, like where we're at in this multimedia platform uh, yeah. that is Star Wars? 20, 10 years ago today, January of uh, February 7th, 2020, not 2020, 2014. We were probably either almost expecting The Force Awakens, like we almost got the news, or the news had been out for a bit, for a little bit. So we were on the cusp of a new trilogy in Star Wars truly returning because we hadn't gotten anything uh, since The Clone Wars. So, yeah, you know how things can change in 10 years. We're a trilogy, uh, two, one trilogy, two movies, several series farther now in the last 10 years. Uh, so there, there's definitely a lot to talk about. A hundred percent, dude. What's what's interesting for me personally, I, I won't lie. I didn't watch a whole ton of Star Wars as a child. I got into Star Wars a little bit later in life, actually about 10 years ago, which is kind yeah. of funny. The fact that Force, that Force Awakens was coming out, you and I were friends, but we had watched maybe one or two together here or there. You and I binged it, dude. We mm -hmm. binged everything that was up to that point. I fell in love with it. So, yeah. you know, coming up on the you know, a decade of me being a star Wars fan. That's, that's kind of fun to think about. Um, yeah, no, it's crazy. I guess I'm still kind of new to the game. Um, 10 years, man, you're good. A hundred percent, dude. It's crazy. Um, so again, didn't really want to talk about news, but I think one thing that we definitely did need to mention was, uh, unfortunately the passing of grief, Carga, Apollo Creed actor, Carl Weathers. Yeah, that was, that was one that hit deep. I saw that, and uh, actually a coworker of mine, he was like, Nick, Nick, because it's so well-known at work that I'm like the, I'm the nerd of the office. The Star Wars guy. Exactly, and I own that. And he, 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 
turned to me. He's like, man. And he just showed me a picture and my heart dropped. Cause that was, that was a big one. Um, you know, just uh, definitely a member of the star Wars family gone, uh, loved what he did in the Rocky movies, loved his portrayal as grief Karga. Um, you know, so he, he definitely will be missed. And we hope that the force is with he and his family because, Again, he'll be missed. So I think with we again, we didn't want to talk about news, but that's something that our first podcast since we had to mention it because, you know, definitely wanted to pay our respects. 100 percent. Not only a great actor, but who seemed like such a genuine person. Yeah. So many celebrities out there posting and talking about how much of an impact this guy made to all sorts of people. Adam Sandler's post specifically. I don't know if you saw it. I, I see I, it. I was looking at it. it. It seemed very, very heartfelt and genuine. Really? They weren't happy. Gil- he was in Happy Gilmore. Yeah, yeah, that's, um, right. that's right. So you know Adam Sandler's. Yeah. When it, when he has his group, that, that those are his boys. So yeah. Uh, so, you know, definitely a sad yeah. one there. But rest um, in peace. But you but know, his insight, what a wonderful life, what a wonderful yeah. career, and his legacy is going to live on for sure. Um, so I think that kind of gets us into a little bit of the current state of Star Wars, which is the new Mandalorian and Grogu film that was announced. Because up until this, I always expected to see him. Obviously, like I I expected to see all the familiar faces in the movie. Um, so I can't help but wonder, is there going to be some type of tribute? Is he going to have a role whatsoever? Um so yeah, you know, we, I'm interested to see that portion of it. But on a lighter note, I'm excited as as all hell for Mando and Grogu in a film. Like I can't believe it's officially a thing. The big screen, that music is going to be incredible. Yeah. Okay, yeah. dude, those are going to be seats we are going to have to purchase mu- as soon as they drop because those are going to go in two seconds. Yeah, that might be something you and I meet up for. Yeah, and the thing is, is it's been a bit. I think since probably, actually, I was going to say since No Way Home, but I have gone to the theater since, and it was packed. I I remember even seeing Love and Thunder, Black Panther, Guardians of the Galaxy, all three of the maybe Ant Man, but all three of those first ones, it was definitely a packed crowd. But I think for this one, it's going to be the crowd is going to be insane. I'm very excited just to experience it with a ton of other Star Wars fans. So that's going to be wild. It makes me it makes me question or I guess observe this first season of The Mandalorian and Mandalorian up to this point. You could pretty much have not watched other things and be up up to date up until Ahsoka and stuff come into it and all that. But in this movie, I wonder if it's going to be the same kind of logic when they're making this. And I'm sure there's going to be tons of Easter eggs and nah. other things. What I'm saying is the general person, Grogu is such a uh, an icon now, right? Is the general person going to be able to walk into this movie theater and understand what is what is happening completely? No, I don't think so. Um, that's like somebody, I think at this point, it's like somebody walking into Attack of the Clones and expecting them to understand everything um, without seeing the Phantom Menace. You know, because at this point, we're three seasons of The Mandalorian deep. There's there's no way that what has happened in these first three seasons does not directly affect what's going on in this movie. And from there, there's no way that the things happening in Ahsoka specifically. I think Kenobi, Andor, uh, those are different. But with Ahsoka, with Book of Boba, with Mando, these things, that I think it, it's the Filoni verse now. I think it's all tying in very similar to how the MCU is where you can't – it's like seeing Doctor Strange without watching WandaVision. You know, I'm sure you I'm sure you understand the movie, but also there's a the question in your mind, wait – when did Scar- when did she become bad? Like what happened right. to make her Last like time this? Last time we saw her, she was going yeah. on Thanos. Exactly. So I think it's going to be very similar. And I don't know if the Mandalorian show season one, um, if that didn't grab you, I don't think the movie will. Um, mm. I don't know. That's just a personal opinion. So I think it's good. Of course, it's going to directly relate and it's going to be a continuation of the story. But with how season three ended with Moth Gideon dying and everything, they kind of wrapped that up in a little bow. So it does. I think you are able to kind of start a new little chapter of the Mandalorian. 
it makes it very easy to move on. And like we talked a minute ago about Carl Weathers, yeah. it's, it makes it easy to write out. Um, yeah. Is it safe to assume Ahsoka will be a part of this? I don't know. I don't, I don't think know. it is. I don't think it necessarily is, especially with the Ahsoka season two being announced. I have a feeling she more than likely will not be in it. Yeah. What I have, I've heard a lot of rumors out here on the streets. Um, I would assume that this is the first of a few movies. Uh, it's not going to be just one and done Mando and Grogu. I definitely think that it is culminating into something bigger, um, kind of end game esque where you have, uh, Book of Boba, I know, right? <laughs> you have Book of Boba, Mando, Ahsoka. You have all of these heroes and protagonists coming together to fight a common enemy, which I assume, based on Ahsoka, would be Thrawn um, and you know his new empire that he's building. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 really interesting because I think you also have to think: is this is between, um the original trilogy and the sequels. So you have to, f I don't know. There's only so many years between those two that you can have this entire story happen without it being mentioned whatsoever in the original, in the sequel trilogy. You know what I mean? Dude, I'm so hype right now. I'm, I'm like in my brain thinking of names for these trilogy movies. It's like <laughs> the Mandalorian and Grogu. And then it's going to be like, Fa I don't know, father and son, and then yeah. the last one's gonna be like the Mandalorians, and it's gonna like have both of them, and it's gonna oh my god, dude, I'm yeah. mm, I'm lit about this. This is gonna be sick. Think of it like this. I wonder. I've made a few Marvel comparisons so far, but the original Avengers is just the Avengers. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this one is the Mandalorian and Grogu. What if the next one is the Mandalorian? with something under that because you, you have Avengers gonna, age of age of Ultron and that's what I, was, that's what I meant like the yeah. father and son or like, or some sort of like something toward yeah. them too specifically is what I was yeah. thinking. Yeah, dude, I think it'd be, I don't know. I think, I hope they stretch it out as long as possible mm -hmm. because the Mandalorian and, and Grogu, just everything that comes along with it. It's so iconic right now, culturally that, I want it to last as long as possible. I don't want three movies in three years and it all is wrapped up. And then we got to start over learning new characters again and all that. I'm sure there are people that want a brand baby new Admiral story. Akbar. Baby Akbar. <laughs> yes. It's a trap. <laughs> That'd be funny. But I also think that there is so much room in Star Wars to where you can tell a brand new story. And that's where we're getting series like The Acolyte that – do I think it's going to lead into The Phantom Menace? Yes. And I think it's going to set up things for <clears throat> for the prequel trilogy, but it's also a brand new story. So there, I feel like there's a lot of people who want to see the continuation of uh, Mando, Ahsoka, Boba Fett, all this, but there's also – another sector that wants something new. So you can do both and not have them contradict each other. Dude, Star Wars is literally an ever expanding universe and yeah. they can do whatever they want, especially post Disney plus and, and animation now being a heavily involved and much more accepted across the board. They can yeah. continue to do whatever they want. It's inevitable. They're going to cover high Republic, with the fact they're oh, doing yeah. Acolyte, it, it, it'd be stupid not to eventually go even further back. And then they yeah. could even do stuff about Dathomir or like anything, bro. And people yeah. will love it, myself and yourself included. <laughs> no, of course. Of course. Um, so that movie is going – oh, it's going to slap for sure. And I mm -hmm. will be there night one when when that premieres. Could you? I just – like you said, I kind of picture – it's not going to have the Disney Plus thing, which is interesting. Um, but I wonder if they're going to have, like, you know how they have the shimmering thing of, like, the four faces? And mm -hmm. then it's like, do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. I just am wondering how you do this Star Wars movie. Not having a crawl, probably. Um, but still making it feel very Star Wars. So I'm just wondering what that intro is going to be like. 
And then, you know, once it's you you get an opening scene, maybe, and then do 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 uh I can't I can wait. I can literally see it being uh we're sitting in a theater. Yeah. And we go through all the credits and it's and immediately just thrown into action like they're in some sort of situation and they're gonna explode and they manage to get out real quick in time and then it flashes to what you just said the music starts playing it yeah. flashes the black and across the screen says chapter six or whatever or i guess chapter whatever six. not chapter six Jeez. i don't know where it, typically we're... what it would be when we're watching a season chapter chapter 25 is what would be next technically i'm just making it yeah. boy i yes i understand that i think it's still interesting just the the names you know chapter chapter one chapter two and then you have the book of boba fett mm -hmm. so it's like what is what is this book you know i, I, I feel know. like i don't know I, th I feel like we talked about it at one point like and I, we it had to originally been like they were gonna write write this they were gonna write mando out like it was gonna be like a short oh. season and they were going to continue to talk about all these different types of Mandalorians. And I don't know if Grogu just popped off so hard to like, dude, we got to, we got to own this. We got to dig into this deeper. And now we're here. I think Grogu was always going to be centerfold a hundred percent. I think he was going to be just the, the, he was it. I think they're going heavy into that, uh, that little I green want guy. To see the baby. Yeah. Show me the baby. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just weird, weird names. And, you know, that's probably a question we won't get the answer to, but I'm just excited for the movie. And to go even further, we have the Ray movie, which is about the her Jedi Order post sequel trilogy. Um, I'm excited for it. I, it. I know a lot of people aren't. Um, but I'm going to go into it with an open mind, you know, like we do every time, whether it's Star Wars, Marvel, Disney, whatever you're watching, you go into the film knowing this might not be my the, the movie that I fall in love with. And that's OK, but best case scenario, it is best case scenario. I walk out in tears and goosebumps and am seeing it the next night in the theaters again. So. You know, that that's why we go. So I'm going into that with an open mind, and I do have very, very high hopes for it because, again, I think that will include Grogu as well. That's that's just me, but I think Grogu 100% will show up in Ray's Star Wars movie. 100%, dude. I hope that there is some sort of rec like recall or connection to – her and Ben Solo's moment where you know, yep. I am, you know, she hears all these voices. I'm yeah. Here with you, Ray. Exactly. There has to be. She heard Yoda too. She heard everybody, dude. And what's crazy yep. about it is like, there's so many people that I'm sure like most of them have been labeled and everything, but there were some that, that weren't. And who knows what, who else she could connect with, bro. Like, exactly I feel right. like I would like to see more of that yeah and that can tie in literally anything no of course of course the the universe is expanding even farther and again i know some people are over ray but i don't know i'm i'm really excited for it too, man. on top of that it goes beyond film we haven't even gone into the recent TV series. Uh, I know, obviously, we talked about Mando, and we've talked about Boba back in the day. We talked about Andor, Kenobi, all this stuff. But I think all of those shows, and mainly a lot of the success is what's gotten us to right here. But beyond the films, beyond the series, we are part of the action with video games as well. I know you're playing through, Fall through Jedi Survivor right now. Um, I finished it a little bit ago. Uh, and we have a whole slate of Star Wars games coming out. We have Star Wars Outlaws that's coming out sometime this year. That we sounds have, lit. Exactly. We have Star Wars Hunters. Uh, that's TBD. We have Respawn Star Wars game. We have uh, Respawn Star Wars strategy game. Star Wars Eclipse, uh, which that's like the open world one, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Uh, Knights of the Old Republic remake. Oh, we my have, God. Yes. Yes. We have... Amy Hennig's Star Wars game, whatever that is. I don't know. Um, but we have a whole slate of Waiting new Star Wars games 3, as well. 
Battle, yeah, Battlefront three, and at some point there's going to be the third, uh, third game following Jedi Survivor because that Cal's Kestis's story is not even close to ending. So, uh, that's that's going to be really exciting, and that's something else. Is he ever making the jump to uh, live action? There's a very good chance of that. I feel like, and I feel like it'd be widely accepted. Yeah, everybody loves Cal. I feel like with that, if you bring him into a movie, it can't be in a very, very crucial role because there are even, I'm sure, Star Wars fans who have no clue who Cal Kestis is, you know? Um, so I, I would think... like it to maybe be something expanding on Ray's connection with the Force and communication with him. What do you mean communication with him? Like just wisdom and guidance through the Force. Oh, and I'm, yeah. And being able to ever expandingly connect with jedi of the past it seems yeah. like she like that's what i would want her to ultimately be and I, I that's how i'd like to see him tied in yeah i mean i'm thinking he would be pretty old if if he were part of ray's movie I'm trying to think because he was a little kid uh during during uh revenge of the sith mm -hmm. so i'm just trying to think of how he would be i'm thinking he'd be more like like, like be like 10 years older than Luke type situations. Oh, true. True. Yeah. He'd be about 10 years older than Luke. Um, so he would be probably like 70 years old in Ray's movie. <laughs> um, new actor for sure. Deep fake. Deep fake. They could, they could, but man, yeah, there's, there's untapped potential. Um, I know you're, you're playing through Jedi survivor right now and they continue to crush those, those Jedi games. They've been absolutely incredible. I know, uh, dude, I, I'm like an hour into it right now. I just started, I just beat Spider-Man. Finally, I just yeah. got a PS five a couple weeks ago. I beat Spider-Man. That was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, now I, now I'm on Jedi survivor. So yeah. Yeah. Great game. Great game. I, I beat the story a hundred percent with Jedi survivor, but bro, there's, there's so many things to do. And stuff. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's, it's a lot, which is good. Um, but I don't think I'm ever going to insomniac Spider-Man two game was the first game in kind of this new wave, not new wave, but like since the PS four came out where I beat a game, an open kind of world game, beat it a hundred percent because I wanted, I wanted to see that hundred percent. I wanted every crate, well, not every crate, because I think they just respawn mm -hmm. so you can get more parts. Um, but I wanted every spider bot. I wanted to get every Sandman uh, memory shard, everything. And I think it's uh, inevitable we're going to get DLC yeah. for that here in the next few months. For sure. So I had to finish that. And then Jedi Survivor, there's just too much. There's too much. Map's a lot bigger, too. But, man, the games are crushing it. The movies, um, we haven't gotten a Star Wars film since rise of skywalker 2019 so we are it feels like forever yeah it was literally a different world when that came out yeah dude it's nuts what what we i don't know if only we knew back then what was going to happen and we didn't even have the channel at that point so it's that's always really interesting of to think about for me so it's we're coming up in december it's going to be five years since a star wars movie and when you look at the past from the originals to the prequels it was 1983 to 1999 mm. so 16 years you go from 2005 to 2015 another 10 years so really we haven't been even waiting that long um and we've no. got a shit ton of star wars in between but if you look at like the mass of how much we have gotten at these yeah. very heavy po points and mm -hmm. it's every like eight months it seems like a yeah. long time. No, exactly. Exactly. Um, so I think up until this point, I'm curious what let's let's say Mandalorian aside, what's been your favorite since this kind of Disney Disney Star Wars era recently, what's been your favorite series? Mm. I I mean, that's tough because yeah, I'd probably say I mean, does Ahsoka count? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, gosh, I don't know. It's it's between Ahsoka, Kenobi, and Tales of the Jedi was really good. Really, it was. I thought it was. Oh very yeah, good. of course. Oh, I loved um, it. I wouldn't have. God, Andor was so great. Yeah. 
I'm like, think, dude, this is this is a hard one. Yeah. Something else I wanted to talk about. We let's come back to this because it's part of this uh, my next topic. Yeah. How far we have come, myself as a fan, in how much Marvel was making an impact versus mm -hmm. how much Star Wars is making an impact now, bro. It is crazy, and we are at the height, I think, of Star Wars, which is which is wild, and we're living in this world where we are continuing to you know ride to the top of the roller coaster of what is what is yeah. star wars yeah but dude it's been wild because there's so many bangers yeah of course of course you had to pick I, one god dude that's hard it's, it's like picking a favorite mcu movie out of phase three uh phase three and more phase two more phase two phase two Phase two. Phase yeah. two is, I feel like, height. You know what I'm Winter saying? Winter Soldier. Winter yeah. Soldier. It's tough. Yeah. Oh, no. Phase three, Endgame. That was the yeah. height, yeah. personally. I, the, and that's just my opinion. Um, well, uh, leading up to it is what Yeah, I'm I think that was just a steady climb, and then it kind of went over the went over the roller coaster ride, went down a little bit, but I think we're on the come up. I guess um, if I had to pick, I'd say Kenobi. Really? It's funny because yeah. I don't even think you mentioned it when you were listing those. I thought yeah, I did. you. Oh, did you? Okay. No, no, I said I, it's I, a toss up between Ahsoka. Uh, Ahsoka, Kenobi, and Tales of the Jedi. Okay. Yeah. And then I said no, Andor's fair. great. I add, and solely just because of the of the fight. Yeah. You no, know, I take it back because it's because of the fight and something we talked about when we did the reactions. It literally checked every box. Yeah. Of what we wanted as I've what we wanted as fans it checked every box and for that reason that's why i pick it yeah no that and that's like my uh my choice it, it it's between kenobi and andor because andor was brand new you know it was it was a new story i know we had cassian before but it was a brand new story we really had no clue where it was going um bunch of new characters and all that uh, so you have this new story in an unprecedented Star Wars time, and then you had the characters that I grew up on. Like I was, mm -hmm. I went to the theaters to see all of them. Uh, so I was, how old was I in twenty two thousand two? I was six years old in two thousand two. I was nine in two thousand five, watching these movies, watching Ewan McGregor, Hayden Christensen, um, all this. So it's it's so hard to pick. Um, I think I still got to go with Andor, though. I don't know. For some reason, like... If there the, was a sleeper, like, a, you know, we're doing the Emmys or the Oscars here, whatever. Yeah. If sleeper award, it's Andor. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot was because at the time we knew we were get we, ha we already had Mandalorian. We were getting Kenobi. We were getting Andor. And we knew Ahsoka was coming as well. So Andor really took the back seat we expected it to be the worst out of all not not that we were expecting it to be bad we were just expecting how do you it's a heavyweight you, fight yeah exactly how do you put cassie and andor up against ahsoka darth vader obi-wan kenobi mando grogu how do you do it but somehow star wars did it and it was it was incredible just the the prison breakout arc itself that andy circus's character yeah bro yeah. i forget his name in the in the show but unbelievable um, acting can't i can't think of it my, na my name is bruce fresh off friends not food you <laughs> <laughs> know loy mm, nice you know loy dude Get i there have been a couple times i shit you not on the way to work i'm like man like I, maybe a little down the down in the dumps or something I pulled up Disney Plus, opened that episode, and I listened to his speech. L like it, it was, it was riveting. Like it gets me. Oh, riveting is a great word to yeah, describe it. Yes, gets me ready to run through a brick wall. Um, like I mean, I've that dude that. literally got a, a whole prison to rally together. Yeah, that's no, wild, man. dude. I'm, I'm feeling it right now, man. I might listen to it on the way to, and it gives me like a tear to my, a good tear to my eye. Like mm -hmm. let's that LFG, let's go. Um, man, it's it's an incredible, incredible speech. Really empowering. Just, oh, it's so sick. Makes you want to seize the day. 
Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I've done that at least, at least three times, um, maybe four, but definitely three where I've plugged that into Apple CarPlay and bumped that on the way to work for seven minutes. Yes, sir. Uh, underrated scene. And then you have, um, who's the guy that played bootstrap Bill Turner and he played, uh, the scientist in Thor. Oh, can't remember um, his name. He was the guy for the rebellion though. Yes. Um, Stellan Skarsgård. Is that the guy I'm thinking of? No, I don't know. I don't know. But the, the other main guy in Andor, his speech minutes later, we had two speeches within a matter of 10 minutes that just spoke to my core. It was unbelievable. Um, I don't know. Are you looking up the, the actor? I'm looking it up because I need to know. I think it's Stellan Skarsgård. Um, if I find this first, I'm going to be really, really angry. Yep. Yeah, Stellan Skarsgård. You're right. Look at Big you. You in the names those. tonight, man. You're smart. Thanks. Big brain. Big brain. Big feet. Big hands. Just kidding. <laughs> um, so we we went into some of the some of the series where you know we we have the games. I know I I read the books. <laughs> I read the books. I know you're really not into the books a lot, um, but I I try to read the books, and I wish you did because man the the stories that happen in the books are just as obviously they don't hit the same as the movies at all. That's not what I'm saying, but incredible stories. You're just not a big reader, really. I don't think. No, I'm not smart enough. No, I just got little brain, little feet, little, little, little hands. brain. I can't, little hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but they're they're good, man. They're good. I think something that's been really intimidating for me is the the High Republic because there's so much came out so quick, and I was like, I can't. I'm not reading ten books about this, and then fifteen comics. Like I I don't have the time to do that. Um. There are other Star Wars stories that I'd rather read right now. You know what I mean? 100%. So what's next? Acolyte is next. Acolyte's next. That's going to be all new and unique as well. Yeah. the About the dark side leading up to... Sick, bro. I'm so... I am lit. Same. Same. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, that is going to be awesome. That's, that's going to be pure... Just... I hate awesome. Just... Hour, you know what I mean by that? Like, I feel. Yeah. I hope you're feeling what I'm. What I'm getting down. Kind of like with. Kylo Ren, like, yeah, yeah like, just like that. It? Yes, yeah. There's gonna be a big sector of the fandom that they've been waiting for just exploration Something. of the dark side and focusing on villains. Um, so this is for them, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna love it too. I think personally, I wouldn't put it past us seeing Darth Plagueis. Uh, so I think that's definitely a possibility. Have I ever told you the tragedy of Dark Plagueis the Wise? I you said say dark. dark. I, I was dark. just about to say that. I was like, you. <laughs> I said dark. I didn't mean to say dark. No. Came out like that. No, I was like, wait. He's like, dark, ba- <laughs> dark Vader. Dark Vader. That's uh, great. With my lifesaver. There are not a lot of things that get on my nerves more than when people say dark. D- 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 the lighting on that is actually really good. It is nice, right? Yeah. It seems is it giving purple right now? Uh a little bit, but it's I know it's white. white. I know it's white. That's sick. That's sick. Thanks, bro. I'm I'm glad you remember how I ended up getting that. You... you were with me, right? Yeah. Yep. Sorry, you you the your screen broke up for a second. So I was like, wait, you're like, what? hey, remember how I ended up getting that? Oh. So I pieced it together, but yes, I remember. <laughs> yeah. Uh you could tell it. You were with me, right? Yes. Yeah, it was yeah, fan was... fusion. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. Dude, so we go to fan fusion, we spend money, we get some cool stuff, right? Nerd nerd stuff. And we stop at this really sick collector shop. And when I built my saber at Disney, I ended up kind of regretting doing my red crystal. And I was like, whatever, it wasn't the end of the world. It was still sick, but I wish I would have done purple mm-hmm. instead. So I go to the shop and i see the little kyber crystal things and it's a purple container yeah and and i go i buy it everything i go outside 
And I open it, it's red. I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> I remember that. I was so upset. I was like, damn, now I got two red ones. I was like, I don't yeah. know what to do. So what? I went back in and they and I was, you know, I was like, I get I strict I no refund retail, policy. No refunds. I get it, man. I get it. And I was like, hey guys, can I just flip it for a different one? Because they had a white one. And I was like, yeah. white is sick. White's cool. Ahsoka's like about to come out. So I was like, mm-hmm. right bet. And uh they just ended up flipping for me. So they were super cool. Shout out uh Collector's Marketplace in Phoenix. If you ever uh if you're local, check it out. It's pretty sick. Um I know that was funny. That but was yeah, funny. Dude, I was, you, you, I'm, I'm glad they hooked me up because I was upset. Yeah, and you're not the greatest at handling, you know, keeping a lid on your emotions sometimes. So you, you were like about to rage, uh, like mother, like you were pissed. Uh, that was funny. Uh, that was a fun time. That was fun. It was fun. That was a great day. Yeah, I like saw Spider Verse. Yes, yeah. The next day, mm-hmm. next day we saw Spider Verse. I'd like to do another con like that because they have them around here uh but they're just not as not as big uh, i would say Mm -hmm. so i'd like to i'd like to go do another one soon they uh yeah man fan fusion will be lit again you should come out again when is that june Mm -hmm. maybe we'll 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 figure it out yeah it'd be tough but we always figure it out this is i just realized this is the first podcast we've we've filmed since i got the new place and got my i know it's glad to have your stuff back i can actually look at you you're kind of ugly so it's hard to yeah focus on just you for too long i need to take a break and and look at something in the background alec is sexually attracted to funko pops isn't that's why him and his that's why him and his girlfriend are on the rocks because he pays he he likes the pops more than her and he's (laughs) making a he's gonna regret it uh but no it's no i'm i'm very happy to be back in the office i got the lights set up um you know pops are being set up man i've been going through it with the pops though because i'm i really want to go through another round of selling more Mm -hmm. um just because the more i look at them i i I do have things that i want to focus in on it kind of non-pop wise too like i want to get more like relics and stuff and honestly i want to get a little more legos too um i'm just i i just don't think i need a ton of these uh marvel ones i i want uh, there are a lot of them i'm gonna keep but there's some i'm like all right i can get rid of a few of these you can get rid of stuff to make space for other things that mm-hmm. are going to be one fill the space better and two suit you more. I yeah. feel that, bro. I'm at the stage in the game where like, like I'm I've slowed down very much. Oh yeah, I've I only get like I, I only feel like I draw, get stuff if like from the clearance sections or oh, if yeah, I'm, like, I'm using, done like, my full game price. Stop coupon or something. Yeah, you know coupon. what I'm saying. So I started buying. <laughs> did I tell you this? I started buying cards again. You're a dick. What? Like <laughs> coupons. You see, you mimic people so much, you don't even realize you do it. Well, I was like, what? why am I a dick? Uh, <laughs> it was just funny the way you say Because a lot of people say that. I say coupons. Uh, coupons. You say coupons. Um, hey, give me the coupons. Yeah. Did I tell you I started buying some baseball cards again? No. That's sick. I did. It was, it's my roommate's <sighs> fault. But within a matter of like a week, I bought these. Oh, my gosh. Like, dude, they're they're are they awesome. Packed? They're what are they? dude, it's a mix of of um of autographs, game use jersey, all raise player. I actually I have raise raise shut up. I also <laughs> I have raise lightning and bolts. Um so yeah, I'll, yeah. So I'll I'll show a couple of those See, to you. Yeah, dude. I would love to get into it. I want to get into Pokemon cards again, but I can't yeah. do it financially. But this it no, I get that. And I think I got a little of my, uh, I I got the itch out of the way, but I do want to get a few. There's a list of cards I want to get, um, so I'll share that with you a different Very time. But s- more specific, more personal yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Um, but I did want to show you these because this is a Star Wars podcast day episode. I bought. Oh, sh- so I told you I got this Luke one right where it has a piece of his. I I did a video on it. it his um, robe. Yeah, there's a piece of – it's his battle tunic. So I assume that this is from uh, The Last Jedi. I don't know exactly what it's from, but it's from that 
I Sick. found I found a Mando one, and dude, it's incredible. Like, it's so soft, it's unbelievable. Like, I, I'm feeling it right. I remember the first time feeling it. You know, the Luke one. Let me see it out of the case. The Luke one felt very similar to like baseball jerseys, but this one is just so soft. What's it uh, from? This is his cloak, part of his cloak, which is Sick. nuts. Yeah. From does it say from when? No, no, it does not. Um, but dude, it's it's awesome, man. It's sick. it's so soft too. I'm like, damn, that material is unbelievable. Um, but yeah, just the uh, is it brown or black? It's it's weird. It's black. So I like, I know his uh his cloak is brown. So I'm wondering if there's like a certain layer somewhere that we can't necessarily see or something. Um, but it is part. I don't know. Part of his part of his cloak. Sick. So, yeah, no, I was really excited to get that. Um, so I do want to get a couple more. Um, Have you ever seen how they make those? No. It's like layers of card stock. Oh, yeah, they have to. They, they have to. It's interesting. It it's, it's interesting, like how it's like a base layer. And then they built like a mill. They build like a middle layer that like holds the piece. And yeah, then it's super cool. Yeah. I angled the camera up here because you see this right here that my finger is pointing to that was this is kind of what got me back into like the game used stuff and the the film worn stuff because that's part of the crate dragon out in tunisia um mm. so it's just a little i my my dad got it for me for christmas it's just a little little piece of the crate dragon that you see in the movie um Sick. yeah so no it's awesome man it's awesome but yeah it, it, but you know getting back to star wars it's incredible how much of our lives it affects you know because as you could see the wall behind me we collect funko pops we go experience making our lightsaber you spend so much money on it but it's it's just very very personal and just you know we'll never die you know star wars is it's forever unbelievable well until the sun burns out yes but yeah state of star wars it's incredible it's incredible it's a it's a great thing right now what are you most excited for coming up Coming I mean, just because of the fact that this movie, the Mando movie, is who knows when or things announced, like not coming. It's gotta up, be. It's like, gotta be acolyte. Really? Or announced? That's announced? Sick. Ahsoka season? Just two. everything? Really? Ahsoka season two? Yeah, that's gonna be lit, dude. I'm super excited about that. Yeah, no, that's uh, season one was awesome. That was Very like, good. Yeah, always hits. I, always hits. I I've come full circle with Ezra. I originally hated him, dude. Oh, I think everybody did. Everybody hated Ahsoka to start. Yeah. It's crazy that how similar they are, man. Both these whiny little brats, and now they're fan favorites. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's, that's character development, baby. Yeah. I've also heard some some rumblings in the streets that – In the streets. In the streets. That they are – saw some rumors of a Star Wars what if. That would be absolutely incredible, dude. I don't. I'm not ready for that. Oh, I'm ready. That would be. So <laughs> I am awesome. ready. I am ready. But yeah. like, I, I, I don't know if I could emotionally handle it. Yeah, dude. Because, could you, uh, immediately a uh, what if Anakin had returned to the dark side? Like yeah. immediately had to have would have to be done. I would freaking cry, dude. Yeah, I'm sure you too. Like a baby, like snot rockets everywhere. Oh yeah. I think the thing they'd have to do different with Star Wars is, you know, with with the M's, with the Marvel what if it, it's all these what if stories, but it all culminates into one story as well. Mm -hmm. So it's like individual episodes, but it's all one story. I feel like I'd like to see a Star Wars one where it's not like that. It's just literally one episode about this. Um, there's 30 minutes on, like you said, what would happen if Anakin didn't turn to the dark side? Um, what if Qui-Gon had survived? Uh, I think it has to be a little more, like, not, it has to be dialed in a little bit more. It can't because, just be massive things. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, something stupid, like, what if Mace Windu's lightsaber was blue? Or, I don't know, <laughs> something stupid. <laughs> What's blue? Yeah, maybe, uh, like, what if Jango Fett hadn't, died in attack of the clones you know mm. what if his jetpack would have worked um yeah. here's a question for you 
how would you want to see that and what if style or clone wars animation or like what kind of i don't of, care really like i think you know it's kind of all the same no i would not want it to be not a that little all the di- same yeah i'd want it to be a little different from clone wars animation but not okay too well far compare different. compare clone wars and rebels that's to me is very they're similar enough to classify in one genre um yeah. i mean yeah an, animation yeah. yeah i guess yeah, but but in comparison to like visions where that is a oh anime, yeah yeah or no, compared to that. compared to Marvel what if where that is a straight up comic book look you think I think so uh, I never really took that one kind of as comic book because I feel like I I obviously it's no it's not Spider Verse comic book yeah that's what it, I was saying. it is more comic y mm. with the shading and stuff yeah no that's fair. Yeah, I think somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. I don't know. Because I think of Resistance. I watched a couple episodes of that. Um, That animation is, I'd say, pretty similar to What If. So I feel like if they did it similar to the Resistance animation, uh, that would be good. But, man, what is, Star Wars What If has unlimited potential. So if that rumor is true, that would be incredible. Um. But, you know, we, we have the rumors of Star Wars What If. We do have Tales of the Jedi Season 2, right? Yeah. I was coming. Yeah, yeah. We do. Okay. Yeah. Tales of the Jedi Season 2. Um, Just something else to fill in fill in some gaps that we didn't even know were there. Wild, dude. Yeah. Yep. But, um, you know, state of Star Wars, we're in a great spot. Didn't know if you had any, any other questions. State is swell. That it is. Okay. Didn't know if you had any other like topics you wanted to talk about um, with our upcoming past questions. I don't, I don't know. Didn't you recently go to an orchestra thing? Uh, Has long... it been a while? Yeah, it was a it was a while ago. Oh, I it thought for whatever reason I thought it was like a month or two ago. No, no, it was like over a year. Wow. I actually have the program right here, so I can tell you the exact date. That's funny. Um, oh, February tw- almost a year. February twenty fifth last year saw mm-hmm. Return of the Jedi in concert. Yeah, sick. Um, yeah, no, dude, that was an experience. Did I ever tell you the story about that? Mm. Oh man, buckle up! I don't think I don't think so. Buckle, <laughs> buckle up, Buttercup. So it's it's an orchestra. So Rosemary wears a really nice dress. I wore a suit, um, and you you bought drink tickets, right? So we we dressed up. It was this really nice thing. I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna walk in here and order a fucking Miller Light. I was like, I'm gonna get. <laughs> I'm going to get scotch on the rocks. So I got a scotch on the rocks and we got two drink tickets each. Um, We were running a little late and I knew once those doors close, they close. So we both, she gets two, um, not wines, but like, I think maybe champagne. It was something sparkling, but it tasted like wine. She got two of those. I got two scotch on the rocks. I did not know that you can't bring drinks in. So I get two full drinks and we are like doors are closing in under five minutes. We go up. They're like, you can't bring those in. I was like, what do you mean? We, I was, I just bought these. They're like, it's, you can't bring them in. I was like, sorry, dude. Shit. So I chugged my two scotch on the rocks. I don't drink Uh, scotch. uh, I chugged uh, both of those. And then Rosemary, she she drank one of her whole drinks, and then she couldn't drink the second one like that quick because it was very bubbly. So I chugged that one. So I was two very strong drinks. It, it was on the rock, so it's nothing yeah. else. I was a lot of scotch deep, and I think it was champagne. And I was sitting there drunk off my ass watching that because they did do an intermission <laughs> yeah yep. so about halfway through they did stop and i think after that i started to sober up a little bit um but dude i was pissed drunk like sitting there watching like the orchestra i'm like like dude it was incredible it was an experience though honestly that was one of that was an experience i would I think what made it cool is it was something for her and I to do together. That was kind of like, you know, one of those nicer things to do. It was a really nice date night, but it was something that I really, you know, right. it was no, 100%. really cool it's, for me to do. It's a nice thing to do, but it's nice for you that it happens to be Star Wars. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And, um, dude, it was an experience. Like, that, that was 
watching and it was return of the Jedi. So that's, that's one of my absolute favorites. So it was, I cried at the end too. Like I, because I was coming off the, the drunk and just <laughs> they're exploding the death star. I think what really got me is, was the, um, when Lando yelled and then nine numbies like, <laughs> I was like, yes, yes. So they blew up the fucking death star again. They did it. Yeah. yeah. yeah I've yeah, seen dude. this movie five, 85 times. Yeah. Yes. Dude, it was incredible. The 501st Legion was there. So it was, dude, it was sick. It was a great night. Um, one of like the coolest like Star Wars experiences I've done. I'd like to at some point in my life, I do want to make the saber one more time. Mm. Like years in the future, like I'd love to make one more just to experience that again because I cried, sick. cried there too. You could be um, like the unlucky dude next to us where the saber faster. didn't work. That sucks. I I would want to do it again. I would want to do the entire thing again, man, because yes. that would suck. That would suck. Just we all put them in the air. <laughs> Didn't work. Yeah, it does like a little like short circuit noise. That yeah, sucks. Poor guy. Uh, yeah, that was fun. I actually have my lightsaber right up there. I don't have the blade though, which sucks. It's at home. Is it? I don't know. It's at home. you get blue, right? Blue. Yep. Blue. Basic. Yeah, I just couldn't not, man. Blue is my No, it's yeah. You can't go wrong. There's no wrong there's no wrong option. No, not at all. There's nothing there's there's not many things that doesn't that will make a lightsaber uncool. I ordered two lightsabers from the site. Both mm -hmm. were um awful. No, not awful. They are for, we're talking about the Timu app. I bought this General Grievous Lego, uh, almost a thousand pieces. It's immaculate. Paid thirteen dollars for it. It's incredible. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna start buying more. Bought two lightsabers. I bought Luke's and I bought um, Obi Wan's. It was it came with like the wrong color Legos and shit. Like it it was missing a few pieces. I had to get in there with a hammer for a couple of them to like make the pieces fit. So that's what I was expecting. Uh, so I'm glad that with the Grievous one, that didn't happen. But, And I, I made do with the other ones. Um, I did talk to Timu, and I got a credit. So I'm going to get uh, something else. But say they're like a 6 out of 10. Mm. Yeah. But they're they're still pretty cool. Um, still cool to set up. And they were dirt cheap, so it, it all works out. But, yeah, I do want to get into some more Legos. I was actually doing some shopping on there tonight, and they have like a big – they can't put Jedi, but they have this – it's like a hundred bucks. They have this big mock up of the the Jedi um the big building that they're in. Why am I not thinking of this word? The Jedi the Jedi building on Coruscant. Temple. temple <laughs> of the Jedi Temple. So I was like, damn, I might have to build the that. big Jedi building. Yeah. The, the Jedi, Jedi Center. Building. Jedi Business Center. Yeah. Jedi Walking Center. around in suits and stuff. Jedi State Building. I don't know. But yeah, man, it's it's kind of a toss up. And then, bro, they have the Millennium Falcon, the big one. Big one. Thirteen thousand pieces for a hundred dollars. So I'm like, damn. If I if I buy it and it sucks, that's a hundred bucks. But if I but buy, if I buy it, it and it's and sick, it's the Millennium Falcon. It's the giant one. Mm -hmm. so I don't know. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Yes, sir. But all right, man, we got we got anything else? I think we're we're both in agreement that Star Wars um is the best and it's not going anywhere. Um, Star Wars is the best. Thank you for is. pointing that out. So we got anything else? Any anything upcoming? Anything in the past we want to talk about really quick? Any new Star Wars collectibles? Anything crazy? I'm lit. They finally came out with a Captain Rex, Rex pop. Captain Rex rat cha. Right yeah, there. Maybe. The fact that drop, bro, that is huge. That's what I never thought I'd have. Same. Same. And then I put um Pong Krell over in my like Sith section. I know he's not a Sith, but it, no, I know you showed me. That's sick. Yeah. Is that Thrawn right there? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know you got him. Yep, recent just the other day. Nice. That's my rebel. That's my rebels, Ahsoka section, Clone Wars. That's Prequels, original trilogies are here. Yes, sir. Yeah, buddy. Any cool new Star stuff. Wars stuff? Yeah, faux show. Um, cool stuff. Finish you know? this. 
finished Jabba Skiff. Um, so that's cool. Going to do a video about that. I I don't think I've gotten anything crazy new. I'm putting up the lightsabers soon. I'm excited that I can hang those again. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to get the get all the lightsabers hung up soon. So that's going to be really cool. Where uh, were they at the at the other house? Uh, in the hallway. I guess I don't remember. I bought the Philly Fanatic Jedi bobblehead. Sick. It came and the head was broken off. Damn. And I got it for like 30 bucks. And I, I went through the refund process, but the more I was looking around, I was like, I'm not going to find this anywhere close to that. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to keep it and I'll super glue it. Did you fix it? Not yet. I'm going to. I just haven't had the time. But yeah, a lot of new. I got to give you an update on like the Star Wars MLB bobbleheads because it section. I know. I want to look. Three shelves want, deep now. I want to look at it, bro. I'm so lit. I want to look at it. I want to look, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. What is that from? SpongeBob. Yeah, Speaking of which, did you see SpongeBob is singing at the Super Bowl on the Nickelodeon broadcast? Yeah. He's opening with Sweet Victory. You know he is? Yes. Really? Yes. Screw Usher, man. I know. Not at halftime, before the game. Oh. That's sick. Yeah, I know. Dang, that'd be awesome. Yeah. That'd be awesome. That'd be cool. Um, Alec and I have uh, talked about expanding the channel a little bit. Um, I know we do a lot of Star Wars, Marvel, and some Disney stuff, uh, but I think we're talking about seeing how we can expand a little further. So, you know, definitely, definitely stay tuned for all that stuff because we are getting back to our Funko Pop concept list coming up really soon that we're really excited about. Um, yeah, so we we will be back in full effect very soon. Uh, but I think, dude, I'm I'm good. I I think. It's safe to call it a wrap on Star Wars Podcast Day 2024, fourth annual. Number four, baby. Yes, sir. Um, always, always fun hopping on. So yes, sir. Well, we can agree. Star Wars is good. Yep. And uh it's been good chatting, my my friend. It's it's been a yes, little sir. bit good to do it again. Definitely, definitely. And everybody, we really appreciate you tuning in for we didn't even say the episode number, and I didn't even look up the episode number. Episode 90 blank of the Carver.com Combos podcast. We were really excited. Um, and it, it's it's cool looking back saying that we have been part of Star Wars Podcast Day since the beginning. So uh shout out, um, you know, shout out to all the other Star Wars podcasts out there that are, you know, doing their thing and talking about some awesome Star Wars stuff today. Um, make sure to check those shows out. You know, you can find them on Instagram. I'm pulling it up right now. Um, you can find everybody on Instagram uh, under the hashtags Star Wars Podcast Day and or SWPD 2024. Uh, so big, big shout out there. Um, and follow at Star Wars Pod Day on Instagram. That's where you can see all the shows that are involved and, you know, all the announcements to come with it. So we really appreciate you tuning in for this fourth edition of Star Wars Podcast Day here on Carbonite Combos. And like always, until the next time you're on the channel, may the Force be with you. Remember, the Force will be with you.